Hello, this is Shailaja Vibhute. Today let us learn about AC generator. What is AC generator? It is a device used to convert mechanical energy into electrical energy. What is principle of this AC generator then? It works on the principle of electromagnetic induction. That is, when a coil rotates in a uniform magnetic field, EMF induces in it. Based on the mechanical energy provided used to rotate the coil, there are types of generators. Let us see the first one that is hydroelectric generator. These are the generators in which uh, coil is rotated by using water falling from a height. The next one thermal electric generator. These are the generators in which coil is rotated using steam. Then third type is nuclear power reactor. These are the generators in which coil is rotated using steam. This steam is produced by heating the water using nuclear fuel. Now let us take AC generator and let us see what it consists of. That is construction of AC generator. This is block diagram of AC generator. In the figure W is shaft. ABCD is coil. N and S poles of a magnet. R1 and R2 brass slip rings. B1 and B2 carbon brushes. The basic elements of AC generator are as shown in the figure. It consists of a coil ABCD wound on a soft iron core. Then this coil with this soft iron core is called armature. So what is armature? A coil with core. The ends of the coil these are connected to uh, two rings R1 and R2. You can observe it in the diagram. See this is end of one coil here one ring is connected one ring is connected means this end of the coil is connected to another ring that is R2 okay then armature and slip rings are supported on a shaft W N and S are the poles of powerful horse shoe magnet which provides magnetic field perpendicular to the axis of rotation of the coil. Then brushes B1 and B2 are permanently in contact with this, these slip rings. Let us see working of this AC generator. When the coil is rotated in the magnetic field, it cuts the field lines and hence magnetic flux linked with the coil changes. So as we know this one when there is change in magnetic flux EMF induces hence current induces in the coil. The direction of induced current can be means direction of induced current can be determined using Fleming's right hand rule. And the polarity of induced EMF changes for every half rotation of the coil. During each half rotation of the coil, the EMF increases from 0 to maximum and then decreases gradually from maximum to 0. The current is also found to vary in the same manner. The output is taken across the brushes. When the magnetic field and the speed of revolution of the coil are uniform, the EMF and hence current varies, varies sinusoidally and it is shown in the figure. Means what? First it is 0, then it reaches maximum, then it comes to minimum and it, then it changes the direction and again it increases to maximum, then again minimum, again changes the direction like this. So, current varies sinusoidally as shown in the figure. This is sine wave or in AC generator whatever output current we are getting, the wave form of that current is AC. Now let us see how to get an expression for instantaneous EMF induced in a coil rotating in a uniform magnetic field. So first we have to draw the diagram, draw one rectangular coil then it should be in between the magnetic field so poles you have to show that is n and s then mark the direction of the field 
so in the figure n and s are poles of the magnet theta is angle between the directions of magnetic field b and area vector a means this is theta so in between a and b angle theta is marked okay then next point when the coil is rotated in the magnetic field the flux linked with the coil varies at any instant of time t a cos theta is component of area vector along the direction of b the magnetic flux linked with the coil at any instant of time t is given by phi b is equal to magnetic field into component of area vector so it is for one return if you write phi b is equal to that is flux magnetic flux is given by phi b so phi b is equal to b into component of area vector means it is a cos theta if there are n number of turns for the coil then you have to multiply it by n so you will get phi b is equal to n b a cos theta then but theta is equal to omega t so expression takes the form phi b is equal to n a b cos omega t because theta is equal to omega t then this omega is angular velocity of the coil at the time t then let us use faraday's law faraday's law is yeah, e is equal to minus d phi by dt now substitute the value of phi what is value of phi now it is n a b cos omega t negative sign is written as it is so e is equal to what now minus d by dt of n a b cos omega t now differentiation of cos omega t you have to take because n a b it is a constant it cannot be differentiated so e is equal to minus n a b you write as it is then differentiation of this cos omega t is minus sin omega t into omega okay then this minus minus becomes plus then what you will get n a b omega let us write it first then take sin omega t this can be written as e is equal to e not sin omega t where e not is peak value of emf and it is e not is equal to n a b omega this is important derivation uh, ac generator can be asked for 5 mark so practice this one properly what is ac generator derive an expression for instantaneous emf in an ac generator like this we can expect the question for 5 mark so practice the derivation properly it is very simple one you have to take definition of flux that is phi is equal to b into component of area vector then you will get b a cos theta for n terms n terms you will take n a b cos theta instead of theta you write it as omega t then take faraday's law then differentiate it so that you will get the final answer e is equal to n a b omega sin omega t instead of n a b omega you can write it as e not that is known as peak value of emf so very simple expression it is so that you can practice it easily now let us take some problems very easy problems let us see first problem a wheel with 10 metallic spokes each 0.5 meter long is rotated with a speed of 120 rpm rpm means what rotations per minute in a plane normal to the horizontal component of earth's magnetic field that is 0.4 into 10 raised to minus 4 tesla what is the induced emf between the axle and rim of the wheel how to solve very simple first write the given quantities here l is equal to 0.5 it is nothing but r that is radius then rotated with a speed of 120 rpm is given so f is equal to that is frequency 120 rpm rotations per minute is given but we want rotations per second so divided by 60 you will get 2 rps then 
horizontal component of earth's magnetic field word is used normal to the horizontal component so theta is equal to 90 degree then magnetic field b is equal to how much 0.4 into 10 raised to minus 4 tesla then we can use the formula that is motional emf that is e is equal to blv since angle you are considering you can take it as sin theta since sin 90 is 1 even you can neglect and you can take only blv and you can solve the problem so it will be bl okay uh, instead of v you can take a relation between v and omega v is velocity actually velocity linear velocity can be expressed in terms of angular velocity that formula is v is equal to r omega okay so that one if you take you will get bl r into omega is equal to what 2 pi f so here v is equal to r omega one formula we have used and this omega is equal to 2 pi f here pi is not typed properly so you take it as 2 pi f now substitute the value b l r into 2 pi f substitute the value now 0.4 into 10 raised to minus 4 into l value is 0.5 then r radius it is same as that of length so it is 0.5 only into 2 into pi value is 3.14 into f value is 2 rps so substitute 2 after simplifying you will get 1.25 into 10 raised to minus 4 since it is induced emf so volt is unit okay now let us take next problem the magnetic flux linked with a coil changes from 12 into 10 raised to minus 3 weber to 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 weber so flux linked with a coil is changing 12 into 10 raised to minus 3 to 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 in 0.01 second calculate the induced emf in the coil so change in flux you can write it as d phi so d phi is equal to what 12 into 10 raised to minus 3 minus 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 so how much you will get 12 minus 6 is 6 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 weber then time is given that is dt is equal to 0.01 second you have to calculate induced emf so e is equal to how much d phi is given dt is given means you can take the help of faraday's law that is e is equal to d phi by dt substitute the value you will get 6 into 10 raised to minus 3 divided by 0.01 it is nothing but 600 into 10 raised to minus 3 volt very simple problem you can expect such problems for two mark let us take one more a pair of adjacent coils has a mutual inductance of 1.5 henry if the current in one coil changes from 0 to 20 ampere in 0.5 second what is the change of flux linked with the coil so mutual inductance is represented by capital m so capital m is given 1.5 henry then change in current is given di is equal to it changes from 0 to 20 so if you subtract 20 minus 0 again you are getting 20 ampere change in time dt is 0.5 second you have to calculate change in flux so d phi is equal to how much as we know this one e is equal to d phi by dt d that is nothing but it is m into ti by dt so d phi by dt is equal to what m di by dt means see according to faraday's law it is e is equal to what d phi by dt for mutual inductance formula is e is equal to m into di divided by dt okay now you can equate these two if you equate it what you will get d phi by dt is equal to m di by dt okay now substitute the values now you will get d phi is equal to dt dt get cancelled this dt this dt get cancelled only m di is remaining so m value is 1.5 di value is 20 multiply it you will get 30 weber okay so 
this the this these type of problems we can expect for two marks very simple problem you can practice some more problems thank you